about out of time. We've got to put everybody on the spot, put your predictions up on the board. I'm, I can't do it because I'm anchoring on Tuesday night. I guess that makes it easier for me, but Matt, Dad, you begin. Uh, she's going to win 50 to 45. She's going to get very close to that 50 number, which I think would be significant. And I think she's going to win 341 electoral votes, which means she takes Ohio. The only two states that flip are Iowa and North Carolina. More than Barack Obama in 2012. Exactly. Uh, I wind up going starting with that Romney map and I add to Trump's column Ohio and I add Iowa but then I take away North Carolina I think that's a state that potentially uh, Republicans could could lose this time around and then there's that congressional district in Maine winds up giving me a prediction of 322 for 322. Clinton. 322. I say 341 I think she's gonna get 50.1 percent of the vote and I break think, 50. Yeah I, I'll put it there and I think that uh, then we got a lot of healing to do which I think she's well able to do. Three Clintons. 286 electoral votes for Donald Trump. He wins North Carolina and Ohio and goes up through the Rust Belt. He barely hangs on in Florida. And I think if he does lose, the rational brain says it would be because of the Hispanic vote in Florida. But I think he edges that out. And the exit polls carry uh, Bush such a yeah. for you're six a, points I, off. I love your faith. For eight I points off. Faith. I think there's a secret magical let's, Trump vote. Let's Stephanie get it in. I'm, I'm for it. Go ahead, Stephanie. That would be great. Uh, 323 electoral votes. Um, she uh, takes the Obama, Obama map minus Iowa and Ohio, but takes North Carolina plus the new, new uh, Nebraska district. Thank you all very much. We'll be right back.